All right, so we're in the beef truck, me and Nate. Uh, come over here to Mr. Cook's earlier. We got two swarm traps out. Both of them caught caught a swarm again. So we just, uh, we caught a swarm last week. We put the traps back out. We caught swarms in both of these traps again. Typically, me and Nate would come over either at late in the evening after all the field force has gone home or early in the morning before they took off, put a screen over it, take it back to the house and uh, find a new home for the bees. But uh, we're gonna do it a little different on this one, partly because I've run out of lids for my swarm traps and I wanna put a trap right back where I, right back in here. And partly because I'm gonna give this swarm to my father-in-law. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, we're gonna move this swarm into a nuke box. We're gonna uh, leave the nuke box there, let all the field force come in and uh, come pick it up a little bit later. So check it out with us. I can't believe that thing's still going. <laughs> Put pellets in it this morning. blue smoke it's hard to believe all right so this one oh yeah this looks like a pretty good swarm so part of the reason um, you don't have to get to catch all the field force but these swarms are so so light typically not always the swarms are so light i like to give them all the help they can get so we we try to catch them at night or early in the morning while they're still in there. Let's see, what do I need? The frames are in the box. Let's go over and check it out. You gonna put your stuff on? Nate's too tough to put his bee suit on. He's, he ain't even wearing a shirt, so. He likes to get stung more than I do. I just ain't afraid of them. Oh, that's what it is. Well, I'll be scared for you. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take her to the box. Go ahead over here. Put these bees in it. We're going to see if we can't make sure the queen's in there. What a bee. So it could be a unmated queen. There they are. They, they're definitely in there. This is the second swarm we've caught in as many weeks out of the back of this truck, so it might be a little too close there, buddy. So we're just gonna move these bees over into this box and let it sit there, and then we swap it out this evening. We'll, uh, we'll just put a new swarm trap here and try to catch number three for the season. Well, from this spot. From this spot, yeah, right. This is our tent swarm? Uh, no. Yeah. We've caught a few though. Full show. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Kind of a weird. Oh man, they trawled out a bunch of comb over here on the side. Let's see if we can find mama in here. There's comb on this side of it. Yeah. I kind of draw this old funky comb. Um, not a fan of it. Swarms will do what swarms do. I think that actually might have been a piece of funky comb I left in there as some bait. So we might we might just pull that comb all together. Come think of it. Here in a minute. Yeah. I'm gonna say that's just a piece of funky comb. I, I left in there for bait. Here's a wad of them. All right. Let's see. You were going to. I know. You're supposed to keep up. There she is right there. See? There's Mama right there. Can you got her? Can you pick her out? Yeah. She got a big old booty. Yeah, we're going to stick her. 
nice and safe. That's the bulk of them. Right there, where'd mama go? She should be under pressure. That would be devastating. Two little fellers. Here you go. One more. Give me that last frame. I'm going to take this funky frame out and use it as another bait frame. That seemed to work good. Yeah. You got it right? right? In fact, you're supposed to be filming, so I do it. You got your hand over the lens. Oops. Right. We're going to put them in there. Little nuke box, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this box. Still full of bees. But this one here, anybody out flying will come home to this one. They might think the entrance is weird, but trust me, they'll get in there. lid over them. Get in there, don't let me crush you. Now, I got just a tiny bit of comb drawed out in there. The machine's gonna be keen to leave that box, I don't think. Got my swarm trap back. Now let's just watch them a minute, see if they don't start going into that pro -nuke. They'll figure it out. The entrance is open. They've been lit all day long now. get stung? Huh? Nate's kind of the bee whisperer. Hell, I didn't have my hood on. A lot of good it did me, didn't it? <laughs> we don't recommend doing it without your hood on. I just forgot. Have they found their way in there yet? No, they're still trying to get it up there at the top. They smell it up there at the top, so. They'll figure it out. <clears throat> anyway, these bees, when they, they'll figure out how to get in that entrance right there. All the way. There we go. They'll figure that out. I don't think mama's coming out of there. She's got, they got, they already got a little comb drawn out. And uh, I didn't look to see if she had any eggs or not. I was just wanting to get them back up there. So, yeah, now I see how they're starting to go in there. Yep. So we will come back. Oh, it's going to be dark in an hour. We'll come back in an hour, and I bet you all them bees will be in there. <clears throat> what do you think? Yeah. yeah. All right. I recall correctly. I forgot to even put my hood up. There's that piece of comb that I don't like. I don't want it to have. So, let's put it in here. That smell. And bees, boy, if you smell it, you can smell the bees on it. It smells like lemongrass even even before you spray any swarm stuff on it. Maybe one you have to put in there sideways. No, sideways ones they make funny comb. Okay. So we're gonna just jam them in there and then they don't wiggle around when you sit. So these boxes are burnt on the inside mm -hmm. like a lightning struck tree. Really what we're trying to mimic. And the bees think it's perfect. You have your spot where your feet goes up here. And then you have that extra space down below down there, like a normal tree would have. And then they draw comb on the frames. And you have your slot entrance. What? 
and our funny sound we made. Yeah. Let's load up, buddy. We'll go down here and show them the way you're supposed to set. Okay. Yeah, it dances all over. It dances like a trap. <laughs> So, like we said, we've already caught two. That's number three from this yard. Number four is down here. We just, we set that in the back of that old Ford pickup truck. Now it's caught two swarms. I'm going to say that was a good, good one, good place to set them. If you look out right over here, about 250 yards, there's a hive in that catalpa tree over. And they put out a swarm about three weeks ago. I went and got out of that, out of the tree. I suspect had she not called me and I hadn't pulled them out of that tree, I'd probably caught them in the trap anyway. So, this Miss Kathy over there extra cooks but nice enough to let us come play bee stuff down here on his on his uh little, little piece of little five acres which is plenty so swing around here Nate and show them this one that's the way you're supposed to do a hive a swarm trap up in a tree little shade facing south and as you can see it works they're just coming in and out of there now this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some pointers a little bit later about a, in fact, I'm gonna show you the, the best thing about this swarm trap. know super nice people that let you put traps on their land put it where you can get on the tailgate ladders are for ladders are for people like breaking their legs so me and nate we're still sitting here waiting on this hive to slow down but if you see traffic in and out of this thing is slowed way down that sun's about 30 minutes from being down all the way probably 15 minutes from these bees ain't coming and going no more and uh when that happens we will show you what you do next all right so we're, we'll, while we're waiting on the sun to go down the rest of these bees to come in show you what we do let's keep a bunch of these in my truck or several of them a piece of screen and uh i keep the stapler in the truck too but frankly it's too hard to get the stupid staples off. So the better thing to do is keep the magic in the form of a little tape in here. So we can get this ready while we're waiting. This part of the moving the trap like this, you won't even need a bee suit. And we'll show you what we're talking about pretty easy but you just go ahead and get your little some people say why didn't you put a a gate over it or one of them little rolly wheels i don't know when we built these swarm traps it kind of called for that slot and frankly this will make four five six that we've caught in the last three weeks so i think the traps are doing pretty good so stay tuned that sun gets a little lower we'll show you what you do while we're messing around waiting on the sun to go down to come over and check i got all i got is three hives in this little yard these are all swarms that we caught this year mr cook was super nice and lets us put a few bees out here and we're gonna pay him back with a little bit of honey so what a good deal we got we got my spot and we got this spot it's about four miles from uh from my from my house so it makes a great whenever we need to uh 
Move bees. Don't do that, Nate. I had that there on purpose. I, I had that there on purpose. Well, we need to move bees. Uh, we can move them far enough that they don't want to go back home. And uh, it works out pretty good. But got this yard registered. Always register your yards. The apiary people's here to help, not to get you. So stay tuned. We'll be getting that swarm out of the tree here in just a minute. Look, look at Nate. He's trying to get stung. Put your finger in that hole. I'm good. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. All right. So it's been, been about 10 minutes since we talked to you last. And if you know it, it's all the flights now are incoming, not out. And there's no outgoing flights. The sun's getting below the trees. The bees are starting to come home for the night. And uh, we're, we're getting really, me and Nate's getting really close to buttoning this one up. And then we'll go back and get that one we put in a nuke box earlier. So stay tuned. So this is our, we use Swarm Commander. It's a lemongrass scent. It's to bring the bees in from everywhere. What we do is we put one on the inside and one on the entrance just to, that way they get a smell on the inside and for the entrance so they know where they're going to. You know what that, why, why that lemongrass smell? Because the bees like it. It smells a lot like their uh, pheromones when they found a place they like. In fact, we tore out that swarm out of that house the other day, and it smelled like lemongrass in there. You could smell it, so I could see why they would think so. So We're not plugging it. So we're just going to go ahead and spray that while we're waiting, and uh, you'll see why here in a minute we don't, the way we don't have to do it up in the tree. All right, so it's... Uh, it's getting later in the evening and me and Nate are getting hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and once once Nate, once these bees get in here, Nate's gonna show you how we shut them in there. And then uh, I'm gonna help Nate get that one down and get a new one up. I think you, there you go. You may just have to squish one or two. All right, there it is. Now, they can't get out of there. That's no guarantee that any coming in ain't going to be upset at us. So, let me put this camera down. Oh, you, buddy. All right, so I'll hit this. I'll hit this crack. Set them there behind you, buddy. All right, you ready? Hang yeah. on. Tied up. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, Nick. Yeah, you're on. liable to get... Hang on. What? Oh, there's a on. bunch. Yeah. You want to... Pull that and let's re reach out. That was a fail. That can go on the fail video. That was the ultimate fail. There's still a bunch of bees out. We're going to give them just a few more minutes. Supper just have to wait. Right there in the truck, right down there. Got it? Yeah. Now, so we can really confuse these few bees that's still out here, we're going to put this trap right back up here. Right that right there. Got it? Ain't 
All right, we got the other swarm trap out of the tree. We're gonna come check on our little nuke box, see how it's doing. Oh, they're still flying. We're gonna have to give the little nuke box a little more time. It's getting dark though. You see they ain't crowded down there at the bottom. Look like they've all found the entrance, let's see. Nine up under the lid, or not many. They found this entrance. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Stay tuned. All right, it's after 8 o'clock. This is just a high, but will not go to bed. The sun's gone down. A lot of activity still, but we got supper, so we got to go. So Nate's going to go over here and close them up. We're going to load them up and take them to the house. You know how to do it on that one? Yeah. Just straight down and then, well, yeah, and then make sure that tab's in there. There you go, just like that. Yeah. All right, let's take them to the truck. They're under the underside of this lick right here. Are they? Yeah. No, they're not. That's on the inside. What you're seeing through that, them little slots is on the inside. I felt them earlier. Oh, well, don't, don't grab them. They'll stick you. Now, when you get stung, don't drop it. We brought our swarm trap. We're going to put it right back in that spot. Some of these... Uh, sorry, one-handed here. Uh, some of these bees are going to be awful confused. Yep, they're gonna be awful confused. Them, bill, them bees right there, they'll either go back to their original, their original hive or they'll go find somebody to let them in. But uh, that's it for now. We'll show you what we do when we get them to the house. Okay, so I know uh, end of the video there, I told you I was gonna show you uh, what we do with them when we get back home but unfortunately i have a uh i have a job that i have to do <laughs> i know i wish i could be keep or raise goats or whatever just for a living but i can't so it just so happened that the only reason i was out there in the bee yards because i knew the next day i had to drive down here to new orleans which here i am in new orleans traffic on a saturday in that fun so I just, I, I tell you what we did. I know you're not gonna get the video of it. We'll get a video of it some other day, but I, I took that trap that we pulled out of the tree. I stuck it in my yard that night where I wanted my hive to go. And uh, yeah, I had to take off for New Orleans the next day. So luckily Nate, little Nate, he uh, he got home from school the next day and put, put those bees into a hive and just right there where we sat them in the yard. And that's. That's the way to do it. Re really, this whole video wasn't done exactly the way we normally do it. Um, normally, we'd wait till dark, like I was saying, so that you know we could we could have all the bees in there. But I kind of wanted to get things done in the daylight and wanted to get that nuke box for my father-in-law. Um, beekeeping's not especially complicated. Now, admittedly, I'm I'm no expert now. I've been beekeeping since 2014, but uh, not successfully, frankly. Um, I tried a lot of I tried a lot of kooky things for about six years there, and uh, not that there's any one right or wrong way to do bees, but I tell you what, my biggest advice to you is is find somebody that's successful and kind of do what they do until you figure it out. Uh, swarm trapping's been been a lot of fun this year. Uh, caught six so far on five traps. That's three week in three week span. I plan on catching more. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. More videos to come. <laughs>